Hey everybody, welcome back to Crafted by Ray. Today I'm going to be diving into the world of DIY technology with this brand new Algo Laser DIY kit. They were nice enough to send me this to try it out. They are today's sponsor of the video. Before we jump right in, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you can follow along with our technology adventure. First things first, let's see what's in the box. What I like to do when I get a new package is uh, pull everything out and make sure we have every piece before we start. Okay, the part list, so we'll go through that. So let's get everything out and make sure we have all the parts. Orange safety glasses. Oh yeah, I like these. The belt's already on here. Oh wow, most of the machine's already put together. I got a couple of our rails here. I'm just laying everything out because if I don't do this and I'm missing something, it's probably something I dropped on the floor. Okay, now I got everything laid out and I went through the list and found out I have everything I need to put this laser together. So I'm going to have uh, a time lapse version of me trying to put this together. We'll see how hard it is. If I have any problems, I'll stop and let you guys know. So let's put a laser together. Okay, um, I had to take the rail off because I put it on backwards. So I just want to say, um, if you're putting this together, zero goes to zero. Uh, for some reason, I had it on the opposite side. It clearly says it in instructions. The instructions are well colorful and very helpful. I just made a mistake and put it on backwards. So let's get back to putting it together. Or let's get back to making a laser yeah there we go I got it all put together and that was actually pretty easy. I mean, if you look at the instructions here, they're step-by-step -step in color. Um, pretty easy to follow. Even the focusing is very easy to follow. You basically just loosen the thumb screw and drop it on the edge here and then retighten it. Super easy. And I love that it's magnetic so you can take it off and get it out of the way for when you're moving material around. Last step is to fire it up and see what happens. Okay, I just plugged it into my laptop and I turned it on, which is 
this key is pretty cool how it's got a switch but I turned it on and I uh, um, it automatically recognized my mach new machine in Lightburn so that was pretty nice um, then I just had it do a frame to make sure that it was gonna go all the way around and I didn't have any wires in the wrong spot so we're all good we're ready to try burning something I just want to say thank you to Elgo for sending me this laser to try out and they also are giving me affiliate link in the description below so if you guys are interested in anything from their website I get a little percentage back now you can support me by supporting my sponsors I'm gonna try cutting through some materials with the laser I'll definitely be wearing my eye protection and I want to say I love these because everything looks so bright and orange and it protects my eyes so all right, I'm going to do some test cuts, maybe do a project or two, and then on the next video, I'll be going more in depth on um, what I like to do for the things that I'm going to make for craft shows. How I stain, pre-stain the plywood and tricks I use to make like earrings and ornaments for this Christmas holiday. So let's do some test cuts really quick and see what we got. Okay, let's see here. We're going to turn this on which I still really love this key. Just switch it on. Now I got powder and it automatically homes itself. And then it also homed itself the second time because of light burn. Now it's linked to light burn, which is the software that I prefer. I'm gonna try just cutting out a square out of this, uh, oh, what is this? Three millimeter plywood that I usually use for making like earrings so we're gonna do a quick cut and see if we can cut all the way through it and I got this fan on in the corner here you guys might hear it it's just to help I got a window open over there to help get some of the smoke out of my shop so I'm just gonna hit a little square all right so you can tell right now we're way too high from the material so to adjust this, it's very simple. Let's see, I, you guys see there's a little thumb screw here. You just loosen that up, slide this under until it touches, tighten that back up, pull this out in focus, and we're ready to frame out our little square. All right, let's go for it. Let's see if that cut through. Oh wow, that cut through in six passes. I don't think I needed six passes. That is, as you can see, a really nice cut. I was at 80% power at 600 millimeters. So now let's try another square at, I wonder if we can do it in four passes at that speed. So let's frame this. All right, we're on our plywood there. So I'm gonna back it down from six passes to four. All right, let's see. Okay, so we found the limit. Almost got it in four passes. I think if we bumped up the power, because I'm only at 80%, and or slowed it down we could probably do this in four passes but it's it's almost there like I can pop it out I mean it just left a little bit but that is that is nice I mean it's not too charred at this amount of passes with that much power because ideally that's what I'm looking for is not super black charred pieces yeah, that's that's not bad at all in four passes. Wow. Okay. Well, um, I think we step it up and try design. Let's see. I think I have a file. Let's see. This is five passes at 695 percent. I don't think this is what I usually use to make earrings. I don't think this machine's gonna have a problem with it at all. So let's uh frame this out. 
Oh, well, we can see that we're framed now. Well, let's give it a shot. So let's see what happens. We're going to cut, try to cut out some reindeer earrings. Well, that's pretty impressive. I mean, look how clean those are. Just think of all the different little earrings you can make. On this one, I scribed a little line there, just so I knew where to place the nose. So if you're wondering what that little line's for, if it's picking up on the camera, it's just a cutout line. So when I go to glue the nose on, I have a nice spot to line up. It's the exact same size as the piece I cut, so I know where to put it. I'm just gonna scribe the circle right on this piece of cardboard to get put my coaster on, and they'll know where center is. So, let's frame it. Draw my shape on the cardboard here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do in Lightburn is take my image and drag it in the center of that circle. And then I can get rid of that circle and then place this on the circle. Cover up the lines. I'm pretty much center there. Well, we'll give it a shot. Okay, I just want to let you know the engraving on this piece. I don't know if you can see it. It came out great. Uh, using the cardboard to draw a circle to use for this to align or any misshaped parts even circles and just trying to find center is a great tip. In the next video is another sponsored video by Algo Laser. I'm going to be doing more of just items that I'm going to be selling in craft shows using that laser. We're going to go through a bunch of different things that we're going to be able to make. Uh, I'll show you the files I'm going to be using and some of the preparation of the materials I use before and after I use the laser. So. Hopefully to see you on that next video. I'll have a link to that video at the end of this video once it's up. As always, see you next time with another Crafted by Ray video.